Good morning, people. Today is the day. Today is the day. I had a dream that it was cancelled because of the whole coronavirus outbreak, but Terry sent me the message this morning saying we're good to go. See you at one o'clock. So welcome to the video. Welcome to the video. I'm getting my scalp micropigmentation treatment today. First session. There's going to be a total of four or five sessions, I think. Four sessions. Uh, just check the schedule. And this first session is basically going to be just like the first, you know, the first session really. Like it's, they're going to be basically shaving my head completely and doing like, um, filling out the entire top part of my head, including these completely bald patches here. And I cannot wait. My skin's very dry. I need to um, wash my face, if you forgive me. But I just basically thought that I would take you on this journey. This has been a long time coming for me. Like, honestly, like, you can't, you don't get it. Like, I've been wanting this for so many years. And now it's here. And I'm so excited. And no virus is stopping me from getting this. People are saying things like, oh, but can you grow your hair out? Can you do this? Can you do that? So I'm going to take you through like, you know, the day or like, you know, the whole thing. It's like nearly 11 o'clock. My appointment's at one. It'll take me about an hour to get there, maybe 45 minutes or so. So I will catch you guys in a bit. In the meantime, I'm going to make myself some food and chill out for a bit. Honestly, someone please recommend a reliable shaker cup that doesn't leak somehow. No matter how tight it is, it always leaks. I'll just decant it instead. Better option. Usually this way kind of blends quite well, but every now and then, like, it leaves clumps and I'm not a big fan of it. I'm gonna drink this, get my vitamins in me, and we're gonna head over to Scalp Tech. Multivitamin, zinc, Cod liver oil. If you're not having vitamins in the morning, why? Why are you not having vitamins? I'm not gonna sit here and give you a whole 20 minutes as to why you should take vitamins, but why are you not taking vitamins? It takes a second. Take your damn vitamins. Times like these, you know, Fucking hell, I'll have some of this on you at all times as well. See if I can remember. Let's see if my um, car can remember the destination of this place because it's in Ormskirk. It's like five to one now. Sorry, five to 12 now. And do we know where it is? Good news. Cars remember the actual address. It's going to take me about 35 minutes to get there, which means we'll get there earlier than I thought. But better early than late as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to put the favourite beats on and get going. Oh my god, it is a beautiful day. And as predicted, I've showed up 15 minutes early, so I'm going to chill in the car, scroll through Instagram for a little bit, and then make my way inside. Your ears have to take anyway, it's uh, you've still got a good shade anyway. What a lot of people do is cut the hair the night before, yeah, and uh, you'll have sort of eight hours growth and you'll have that nice little stubbly look then. Mm. Got a mole on the side of my head here, so I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Can you go over that? Um, I like oh. before, you? Yeah, but not on my head though. If it anything, it's more like a scrape. Um, no, it's, it's more irritable than, than a um, 
when you get a tattoo and then you, they get that like dragon thing. Yeah. This is more just like where you feel like giving it a scratch. Yeah, well I've seen videos of people do it and like they seem pretty cool, like relaxed while we're it's happening, so we'll go. Oh that's fine. Not measure. These parts are a little bit sensitive, see there? Yeah. Oh, the rest of it's a piece of cake. Feels warm, does it? Like hot. gonna cry guys I can't stress how confident I feel already and it's after just one session the next session is next week so they've done like the first the first few um, bits for the first week it's gonna naturally blend into my skin and then they're gonna do another layer on top of that and then eventually it's just gonna, oh, ugh. I'm gonna make this like vlog for the first session and then we'll vlog, I'll probably do a vlog for each session really. But already like I feel 10 times more confident, a hell of a lot younger, I, it's amazing. And the pain as well, like it didn't really hurt too much to be honest with you. Like for me, pain was really minuscule. I mean, it, did hurt a bit, like it stung towards the end, but I could handle, I could handle it. I've got quite a high pain threshold anyway. So he even said he went a little bit harder on me, um, went over the same bits over again. So yeah, I'm gonna drive home now cause I'm starving and we will continue the vlog cause it's dangerous to vlog and drive. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Um, oh, I'm gonna try and not smile too much on the way home. People are gonna think I'm weird. Pit stop, vanilla latte, and a caramel shortbread for the journey home. Also, when I stopped, I can't, it's gonna take some getting used to looking at myself. I look, I feel so much different. I look so much different. Fuck. Um, anyway, yeah, so when I stopped to fill up my car with some diesel, bagels. I went to Asda last night to try and get some of these. Nothing, nothing. Petrol station, some bagels. The guy at the counter was like, oh, I should have got those. You know, cause everyone's panic buying cause of the coronavirus. Anyway, uh, Terry gave me like a post care instruction sheet here. So I'll run over with that, over that with you guys when I get in the house. See you in a bit. Okay, so to summarize the entire experience for the first session. So that was session one of four. Very, very quick, um, very, very friendly, very, very reassuring. Um, he draws it on my head first, so I decide like if that's the hairline I would like. And me being me, I mean, I don't know what a good hairline is. I just know what I like the look of. And I said, yep, do that. One thing that stood out the most was he mentioned about profiles. So when I lost my hair up here, I didn't, I lost it on the sides as well. So it kind of went back and I didn't realize how much of a massive difference the temples make. So 
some guys that do this kind of treatment wouldn't even consider that. So Terry did, and I'm so thankful he did. Bear in mind, guys, this is the first session, so it's only like a base layer. And even still, like, it looks fantastic. Oh man, just looking at myself is like, oh shit. So I've got another four more sessions to go. So next week is the next one on Wednesday. Well, in six days, I'd go again. And then after that, I do two weeks, and then two weeks after that, then we're done. Basically, just uh, don't wet the top of my head for four days. It's called dry healing. Uh, if it gets inflamed of any description, contact him and he'll tell me what to do. Cocoa butter, eventually within the next four days. So I have par Palmas. This is what I'm going to be using. And yeah, touch-ups, revisits and schedules uh, a month after the procedure, if need be. Yeah, so it's like all permanent makeup procedures are, 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 are it's a long process and you can't rush them. Um, but yeah, it's basically the same kind of thing as tattoo treatment. Uh, he did say, but this means I'm not gonna be wearing hats as well. Thank fuck. Um, Cause I just can't stop looking at it. And this is after one session. You can see it's a little bit red, but he said that my skin takes it really well. So, oh guys, this is like, it literally makes you look from being in your 30s to being in your 20s again. I wish I just did it sooner, to be honest with you. So, yeah, and like, I'll be honest, like I did look around at a variety of different like clinics. Uh, I won't mention the names, but Terry's by far was the best in my opinion. Um, just from the fact that, you know, he's been there himself, he's been in my situation, he's been in the industry for about nine years, eight or nine years, and he just knows what to expect. He's had, I think he had a dodgy treatment back in the day, and he learned, and now he knows the right way and how to make it, even like up close, it still looks like mad natural. Like it's so hard to, you know, I just love it. Like fuck having a hair transplant, get one of these. Like it lasts forever. I uh, probably might need a touch up in about five or six years time, if be, but you know, that's okay. Um, and also with this, I will be shaving my head probably every morning, which is no different really to styling your hair every morning, making sure that it covers all the bits that you don't want it, you don't want people to see. So it's no different really, except it's a hell of a lot easier. Um, I'll do another video on that. Um, but in the meantime, this is the video for my first scalp micropigmentation treatment with Scalp Tech. I'll put the description on the website. The, I'll put the website in the description and I think you get 50 pound off if you do decide to go with Terry and you mention my name, he will knock a bit of the price off for you. But honestly, like I cannot recommend this enough. Like I've been grinning this entire journey home and I'm just, I feel so much more confident already. Like mad confident in myself. I just need to get my body back in check and I'll be fucking unstoppable. But no, either way. Uh, you can tell by my reaction guys that it's genuine. I'm super happy with the results so far. Uh, can't wait to finish it. And yeah, really, really good, really comfortable. I, I can't remember what I said in the last few clips. Pain was a little bit irritating, but nothing. It was definitely worth it. I do. I said to him, I'd do that a million times. I'd do it a million times just to get the result. So yeah, so that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions regarding scalp micropigmentation, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will respond. If I don't know the answer, I'll simply tell you I don't know, mate. You best ask him, Terry, uh, who's the guy in the video. Really sound bloke. Can't recommend him enough, to be honest with you. Uh, he's got clinics all over the Northwest. I think there's some, I'm not too sure where, but this one that I went to was in Ormskirk in a really nice little village. Really pleasant drive as well. It was like a really nice rural area. Can't recommend it enough. Anyway, 
I am going to crack on with some more uni work and get some food in me. And he says not to go to the gym, but I literally signed up for a, a month's membership at Flex, which is like 35 quid for the month. So I'm not missing gym. I probably chose the worst time of the year so far to actually commit to a gym membership because obviously everything's canceling and closing down because of this coronavirus. But fortunately my gym's not closed. So I've got my surgical gloves and my hand sanitizer. So I'm gonna head to the gym later and I might do a cheeky little leg workout, but nothing too mad because I don't want to sweat too much. But, well, I don't want to sweat at all really. So I'm just gonna pretty much just go and wake the pins up, as, I guess, and go from there. So I'm not gonna film it. I'm gonna end the video here. But yeah, once again, guys, thank you for watching the videos. Uh, really do appreciate it. I don't do this YouTube thing for money. I really don't. I do it just for a hobby. So every comment, like, you know, I get it. I get happy every time someone leaves a comment. I don't know why. It's probably like a dopamine rush or whatever. But, you know, I don't rely on this YouTube channel from a business standpoint. So, you know, everything I say is 100% genuine off the top. But I'll say what I want. I'll say how I feel. I am who I am at the end of the day. So 100% reliable. Um, I know it doesn't sound it when I'm actually having to, you know, say that, but it's true. So anyway, yeah, once again, thank you for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section, like the video, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers, which is a big deal for me. It's a lot of subscribers, you know, 2,000, a lot. So I'm going to be making more videos now because uni is nearly coming towards an end. Uh, hopefully we'll graduate in July, uh, depending on this situation with the whole self-isolation bullshit, but we'll see. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go now. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.